Hang on. Wait, I don't, I don't even have the mic ready. Just hang on a second. Oh man. No, I'm busy. I'm getting ready to, to, to travel like nonstop. So, uh, I wasn't even going to do this, but I figured we got to do something. We got to give them, we got to make the stuff. Well, let me explain. We were hanging out for about a week, had a great time, but we kept going to restaurants and they said, can I order lemon juice? Every restaurant, it was lemon juice. Well, this got me thinking and curious and I look over and it's just lemonade. They were just drinking lemonade, but here's the thing. It's not, we do, do you call it lemon juice? Lemon juice, isn't that like a baking or a cooking uh, component thing? I gotta be honest, it really messed me up because that's all I kept thinking about for a few days is someone drinking lemon juice when they meant to say lemonade. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna show you, this is the first look at the new Windows 365 Link device, which is a dedicated uh, little mini PC thing that is made to work with Windows 365 cloud PCs. And I'm gonna show it to you. I still gotta wash my clothes before I pack them. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. So if you're not familiar, the Windows 365 link was announced in November at Ignite. Um, it's a purpose-built uh, device, basically a little tiny mini PC that is made for Windows 365. So this is great if you are, you know, all in, if you're adopting it for your fleet. Uh, this is a tiny little little PC box that essentially just, uh, you know, talks to Windows uh, 365. That's all it does. It's very secure because there's really not much in it that can be compromised, you know, has support for multiple displays, uh, and it, you know, boots right into 365 and managed with Intune. As far as specs, um, you know, they don't really publish the, the hardware specs. It's more about uh, the IO ports. You got three USB A's, a USB C, you got HDMI, you got display port, a headphone jack, ethernet, all that stuff. Um, uh, you got, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in, you know, so uh, a lot of stuff. Now, they haven't really specified the internal hardware specs, and I think the reason is, A, it kind of doesn't matter. Um, some online have speculated, I've seen articles and write-ups that it's maybe 8 gigs of RAM, like 64 gigs of onboard storage. There's some kind of Intel chip in here. Don't know what it is. Um, at least I didn't see it on here. Let me look. So I, I do have one. So let's uh, let's unbox this and check it out. All right. So this took some time to get going and for everything to work. And you can see there's a, uh, well, whatever. Some real effort went into this. So I'm going to do my best. We're going to unbox this together. I had to jerry rig some stupid camera up. Uh, okay, so opening the box, I should have a knife or something. Usually I'm not allowed to play with knives. I'm gonna get a knife, hang on. Okay, we have a knife. Uh, it's an old box cuttery knife. Okay, so step one, box open. Ooh, look at this. See this? Microsoft Windows 365 link, Microsoft take a look here that's nice nicely boxed it's got that nice uh recycle friendly stuff this is nice look at this this is like a uh let's open this up here all right so this is very premium feeling uh this is kind of, this would be an awesome desktop i'm just gonna say microsoft if you make a surface like a like a mac mini version of a surface like this i think you'd have a buyer um you'd have a lot of buyers so Take a look on the back. Let me see if I can bring the lights up a little bit without breaking everything. Oh, that's a little better. Okay. So, let's. where's this new camera? So, you have... Let's show you here. USB-C on the end. Uh, two USB-A, display port, HDMI, Ethernet. That's the power adapter. Logo on the top. And on the back here, you have... Or Actually, this is the front. It looks like a power button. If you can see that. Uh, USB-A, and a headphone jack. And then it's this nice rubber on the bottom. So it's like if you, I would imagine if you set it down like that, yeah, it's it's not going to move. So that's, that's really nice. So I got to say, hardware-wise, this is, this is killer. Uh, let's look at what else is in this box. So we have it. I bang my head into the microphone for you people. Uh, some wiring, a little more than I would think. Oh, I guess this is just the power adapter. Um... 
But that's it. And then there's just some paper documentation, I guess, telling me not to eat this thing or whatever. You got to have that. Um, let's move the box over there for now. All right. So, yeah, this is pretty straightforward. It's just a this is your power adapter that goes into the, the unit with a little cannon uh, plug. And then you have a normal three prong AC adapter, maybe different if you're in another country. I know because I'm traveling soon. I had to go to uh, I had to order some adapter for myself. All right, so this looks pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it. Um, uh, basically going to set up just some basic peripherals. And uh, I'm going to see if we can get a capture card going with this so I can show you all what's, uh, what it's like when you boot it up. All right, here we go, booting up. I just uh, plugged it in and the little button. Um, let me plug it into Ethernet. All right, so plugged it into Ethernet. I guess I could just hit next. Oh, it's taking me right to set up for work or school. So I'm going to sign in with my Rubik's account that has the Windows 365 license attached. Uh, it should have it attached. Please wait while we set up your device. All right. Cool. All right. So now it says, welcome. Welcome, Steve. Connecting to your cloud PC. All right. So it looks like it's just going right into my Windows 365 machine, right? There was really no, oh, there, I mean, there's no OS, right? There's like a modified out of box experience, I guess. Um, but it's just going right into my uh, Windows 365 PC. It's pretty cool. There it is. Wow. And there it is. Just like it, uh, just like it always is. Yeah, there's all my stuff. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, I'm just back in my Windows 365 PC. Um, it feels really native. I mean, I daily drive it for my app dev and stuff with Visual Studio. Um, you know, I, I have a lot going on in here, so I never really have, you know, problems. Um, let's see. All right, so how do I get out of this or how do I shut it down? I'm going to move my head for a minute. We're going to move myself up here. That's good because I want to be able to show you. There was a, um, well, there was a menu in the bottom right on the main page, but it looks like uh, I'm going to disconnect. Let's just see what happens there. So when I disconnect, I wonder if it takes me back to that. I'll call it a base loader. It's not really an OS. Yeah, it does. So I guess I could just, yeah. And now see, here's this little menu down here. So I guess if I wanted to sleep, I could. That's my capture card signal. Okay. And when I wake it up, it just wants uh, me to sign back in. Steve Warner at Rubik's diff.com. There we go. So I would imagine if you have a shift worker, or, you know, a call center situation, they just come in here and, and log in and it's probably going to take me right back. Yep. Takes me right back to the cloud PC. All right. Very cool with that. So let me cancel for now and shut this down. Okay. So what I want to do now before I let you go, I mean, that was pretty cool is I just want to take a look in my devices to see if it shows up here. If I were to go to last check-in, obviously do something. Okay, I don't see it here. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go to users. I'm going to go to myself and see if it shows up under my devices. Okay, can we sort by registered? So look at this, WNC. So Microsoft Intune, test two, edit compliance. So I want to look at this. Yeah, look, Windows 365 link. So it shows up. It's probably under all devices. I don't even know if it, it didn't show up. Oh yeah, operating system Windows. It's pretty interesting. So if we look at the hardware, all right. So we were right, eight gigs of RAM. It's not reading any storage space. There is, is there any processor information? Uh, it's just a 64 bit. It's not giving us much TPM. Um, 
So we'll have to see more if it says it's not encrypted. So we'll have to see what kind of policy there is for it. I mean, my assumption is going to be, yeah, like if we were to look at um, device configuration, well, should it, yeah, it's not applicable. So this is going to be interesting to see because, I mean, realistically, everything on here is going to be managed at the Windows 365 device level, right? So to, to manage this, I'm really going to be managing this, which is my, my cloud PC. And this is the entity. The other thing is just kind of like allowing me to, to access it. So this is where all my managed apps would be and configuration. So yeah, this is like any other Intune managed device. Okay, interesting. So I think this is very cool, right? Um, obviously, it's a very specific use case. It's a Windows 365 physical connection device. So if you don't use Windows 365, you're not going to do anything with it. So don't buy it. Um, you know, as far as what I see this being used for, if you're an organization and we're adopting Windows 365 and, you know, we need a hardware solution that's for, you know, some kind of kiosk situation or, you know, shift workers, call centers, um, or even knowledge workers. If you're just giving them Windows 365 devices, this is very small. It can be out of the way. Good amount of peripherals, right? So you can do the multiple display thing if you want. I had no issue connecting it out of the box. There were no updates, nothing. Just plugged in and, and go. So feels like a really nice piece of hardware. Um, yeah, so I would say, so good job there, Microsoft, on that. I don't want to hear the comments about the cost thing. If it's, you know, more effective to buy this in a Windows 365 license, why wouldn't I just buy a computer? Look, there's all kinds of reasons, you know, folks would go the Windows 365 route. We've talked about them. This is not about a money conversation. This is about if you are adopting Windows 365, this is an awesome first party option to just, you know, not have to worry about hardware. You buy it, it can only do Windows 365. So we're going to do a lot more cool stuff with this, hopefully, as we, you know, kind of watch it grow and see what else you can do with this thing. And uh, that's going to be it for now. We'll be seeing you.